All right, hello. Today is July 20th. 20th. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. How can I channel? All right, starting over. Hello, today is July 25th, 2017. And I have with me Eva Sakina. Okay. And. Uh, uh marianne frank and don hello everybody don you said you would have april with you right don you're muted i cannot no you, you, your sound is not working okay hello hello everybody and today we do yogananda channeling and before that i just need to do the usual announcement so workshop is coming it's a week from now and at the last moment uh, as expected a few people had to drop off uh one with health problems another with some other problems i mean it's it's very understandable people kind of hope for best but then at the last moment there are some circumstances so there are a few places which we would like to feel and talk to me if you can't afford the full price talk to me we can i can give you a better price uh, you can contact me through humancolony.org, click on contact, or through Facebook, Max Rappel on Facebook, and uh, Hugh Color private group on Facebook. Just Facebook me, Facebook message me. All right. Today, I was asked to speak about money. <laughs> <laughs> and passion. And passion. Thank you. Passion to make money. <laughs> hmm. No, I'm Yes, sorry. yes, I understand. I understand. You said passion. Not for money, but you need passion for your work. So it would bring money, yes. Yes. Realize that in my life I was fortunate enough not to worry as much about money. 
the what times of easy life there was times when i had to scrape the money well there was time when i was bankrupt but i wasn't a good uh, business person i was okay as a business person i wasn't the one who earned the money i lived on donations I lived on support of wealthy supporters and the first of them was my father and it wasn't my achievement not at all <laughs> not my physical myself not my physical self not my physical mind it was a play of divine powers that guided him and my other supporters it was often surprising to me how things worked out but yes I was faithful yes I was hoping yes I relied on that support It's like you jump, hoping that at the last moment there will be a place to land. <laughs> that was many times in my life when I jump first without thinking and then hope in faith <laughs> That's that right. the divine helpers will catch me. Realize the time was different and similar. It was a down of the shift, a down of ascension. I knew I was I knew I wouldn't be seeing it in my physical life. I wouldn't see even the beginnings of it in my physical life. I saw the interest, I saw sparkles, I saw flames. But it was a night, it was a night time before ascension, a night time before the light would come up. So it required such an impractical person as I to be in faith, to believe in things without proof. <laughs> to live in my dream world and shine with dream, shine with passion, with no justification except from above. No light from except from inside. <laughs> right. Mm. I, 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 I. So I invite you to follow that path as well, to believe without proof, to trust without evidence, to place your trust in the spirit guidance and the divine help 
blindly to place your love in yourself. It is a delicate balance. You need energy to work. You need energy to go forward. You need energy to be in a flow of wealth and resources. And if you judge yourself soberly, you are a loser. I was a loser. If you judge yourself soberly, from the 3D, 3D perspective, we are losers. No question about it. So you have a dilemma, a split fork. Do you go back in the 3D and try to fix yourself according to 3D mainstream criteria? Or you shift from that uncertain space into the place where you stop applying to yourself the judgment of the mainstream? And then, if you allow yourself to be if you allow your physical self to be imperfect, if you allow your career to be imperfect, if you stop judging yourself by mainstream criteria, If you forgive yourself your errors, a miracle happens. You can plug yourself into the source, into the energy of the source, into the bliss of the source, into the love of the source. That is why I keep repeating, be in a state of love, be in a state of kindness, of Loving kindness. Have a crush, not on anyone. But remember that state of being in love. Be in love. Be in romantic relationship with the universe. Be in love with the matrix. with a grand illusion. It is beautiful. It deserves your love. It deserves your passion. Be in love with the humanity, with this grand experiment, with the biosphere, with the planet Earth, with ascension, with the opportunity to shift into a brighter future. Be in love with the presence, with the present, yes. Be in love with the present, with the present time, with that shift, with that transition, that early down of the shift. It is one of the crucial moments of the shift. You are capable of fixing, improving, transcending, lighting up, lightening up. this drama, this song, this humanity, this space-time, this vortex, 
this grand vortex of drama. <laughs> I want to speak also about the trap of righteousness. What is righteousness? Don't you, aren't you supposed to be right? Aren't you supposed to desire to be right? Aren't you supposed to be successful? Yes, you are. I urge you to be successful both in the spirit and in the physical. I urge you to be practical with money, the resources in the physical, and be practical with your spiritual health and growth. Use your mind, use your wonderful mind to merge and run in parallel successful lives in the spirit and in the physical. But to run to be successful, you need a hmm, what's that word? Hmm, fair judgment, right? Fair judgment, fair evaluation of the situation, right? To f to see the clear picture, to validate your intuition, to calibrate your intuition, to apply proper emotion to proper things, to apply proper emotions to proper things. So how can I invite you to be judging and not judging at the same time? That's a paradox which needs to be resolved. So righteousness is when you judge others. So this one is not pretty. This one is not to be trusted. This one is of too low vibration. This one is of high vibration, but not practical. This one is nuts. Are these judgments valid? Or should you drop all of them at once? I say, if you drop your judgments, you cannot function. So it's not about... Dropping the judgments, not about not judging. It is something else. And what is it? Let me give you an illustration.
So you work with a partner, a business partner, a client, and you apply your intuition, your judgment to them. You guess their behavior, you predict their behavior, you classify them. Or there is someone else who you judge harshly and you feel righteous and then feel that and judge them to be incorrect. Is it right or not? Would it help you in your business or not? Will, you, will it help you to be judging, to be in the flow of prosperity, flow of resources, flow of money? Yes or not? And the answer is as usual, both yes and no. So yes, I invite you to still apply your intuition and calibrate, recalibrate, think, rethink, be smart about other people, about the situations. Yes, you need that part of your physical mind to judge, to evaluate, to adjust, maybe change your judgments if you're incorrect. So you need a feedback. You need to still use your physical mind. But at the same time, realize you are not your physical mind. You are more than that. You are God in disguise. You are a divine mother in disguise. You are a divine mother, the divine mother in disguise. Your intuition goes beyond your thinking. Your heart chakras, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, your crown chakra go way beyond your physical mind. And when you look at the things from the space of heart, you are not only you, you are not only your physical mind and a physical body. You are beyond that. You are that other person. That's the main point. You are not only you, you are the other person. You are you and your government. You are you and your enemies. So I invite you, not always, but often, not always, but often, to look from your own perspective, your physical mind perspective, and then expand your consciousness to include the others. And don't be harsh on them. Be kind. Don't be harsh. And most importantly, look at yourself with love. Don't be harsh on yourself. On one hand, yes, you're a loser. On the other hand, and yes, I'm a loser. Yes, Max is a loser. Yes, everyone is a loser. You know, the most successful one is the biggest of losers. You know that. You understand that. But don't judge them harshly. At one point, from one perspective, yes. But take multiple perspectives. Take multiple perspectives. Take multiple looks and unite, unify your spirit self, your higher self, and your physical self. Unify yourself and others. Unite with the flow of money. You are not only the receiver and seeker of money. You are not only the receiver and seeker of resources. You are resources. You are the retriever. So when you become one with all that is on earth, with all these resources, you become united with it, with the logic of it. Understand and accept the logic of the river. You understand and accept and become united with the element of fire, the passion, element of water, the healing element and the element of life. 
the element of adjustment, the element of water, the liquid, the element of air, mind, judgment, logic, smartness, element of air, and ultimately the element of earth, which is the money, which is the resources. So when you become the element of earth, when you associate, make yourself equal, stand on that position and be interested in their interest, then you become more successful, then you solve these problems. So think from the point of view of the elementals who support these little gnomes, big gnomes, the L's, the L, the spiritual forces that control and navigate and regulate the flow of prosperity, the flow of resources. Unite with them, channel them, negotiate with them, be one of them. When you become one of them, Your finances start to improve. Your finances will start to improve. Your resources will flow easier. There is a certain logic, certain rules, certain fairness, fairness, ethics of these energies. Unite with them, talk to them, be one of them. Be friends with financial people. Be friends with the spirits who guide the financial people. Be friends with the people who distribute resources and become one of them. Unite with them. Your fear of them should go away. It was earned when you awakened. Now, as you are awakened, as you understand the whole global delusion, grand delusion, realize there is a place for them in this delusion as well. You cannot get to Ram before you honor Shiva. You cannot get to the money before you honor the dark side of it. You cannot get to money before you respect and honor the spirit of it. It's a time for prosperity meditation. Relax, sit relax in a relaxed position, lay down in a relaxed position, make yourself comfortable so you can relax your muscles. <laughs>
Breathe deeply and consciously. Pay attention to your breathing. And when it's comfortable, stop breathing for a short while and listen to yourself. Feel yourself. Come back into your body. Populate your body. Realize that the prosperity comes through your stomach. Realize that the prosperity comes through your digestion system. Realize that the prosperity comes through your physiology. This body has to become comfortable with acceptance of the resources. Say to yourself three times. Do you accept the resources? Say three times. I accept. I accept. I accept. Um, Now, do you accept yourself? Do you accept your physical self? Do you accept your body? Are you comfortable populating your body? Are you comfortable living that life in your body on earth? Do you accept this body? Say, I accept. I accept. I accept. Hmm. Now, continue the meditation. I will give you the initiation. <laughs> another, another download of the program of prosperity. A refreshment course, the new prosperity. And be accepting this new initiation program. Place your palms on the stomach. Place your palms on the stomach. I will download the programs of prosperity in your stomach. Mm. Feel that healing energy, Reiki energy, Prana energy, the source energy entering your stomach, healing it, connecting your stomach to the flow of the resources. Say, I accept, I accept, I accept. Do you accept the prosperity program? Accept, I accept, I
Do you accept that love? You say, which love? <laughs> Do you accept love? Do you accept a state of love? Do you want to be in a state of love? Do you want to be in love with the creation? Do you want to be in love with the universe? Do you want to be in love with the flow of money? Say to yourself, yes, 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 I accept this love. Yes, I accept this love. Yes, I accept this love. I want to be in a state of love. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Mahayana And finally accept the idea of service be passionate about the idea of service it's not that you want this money It is that you are in service of the creation and you need resources to be in service of the creation. And for that, you need that money. For that, that money is absolutely required, needed. The, you commit to be in service and for that, you deserve that money. You need it for your work. You need it for your pleasure. You need to keep your body in good shape you need to keep your house in good shape you need to keep your family in good shape you need these resources absolutely necessary absolutely necessary say to yourself i am in the flow i am the flow mm Say, I am in the glory, I am the glory. Um, uh, say to yourself, I am in love, I am love. Um, uh, And with that, I wrap up the meditation. I invite comments, questions, sharings. You can unmute yourself. Okay, I have a question. Yes, Eva. <laughs> I was waiting for Sakina to start, but she wasn't there, so here I am. Um, I have a question on the money subject, but I seem like I thank you so much, by the way. Thank you so much. for. Thank you for accepting it. Yes. And um, I feel like I boxed myself. I actually know how I put myself throughout the years, starting with choosing certain family, country, certain belief system, like backed myself into not having financial prosperity. 
And uh, although I know how it happened, it does not necessarily mean that I know how to get out of my box. And also Sakina asked this wonderful question, which I share with her um, about expressing passion of who I am through my work, because although I am in okay job, it doesn't, my job does not require my talents or skills much of it. I don't know if you have any suggestions in this area. So this is like two question, one question, how to get out. Is a shortcut out of my uh, financial box? Mm -hmm. And um, self-love, right? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. How? Yes. How? Uh, you know, but now I need some practical, you know, I have like, I have some wisdom, but I need some like practical advice. Practical. Yes. <laughs> I'm not that practical, but yes, I invite you to be practical. Yes. First, accept what it is, accept where you are, look at the bright side. Look on the bright side. There is a balance of it in you of so much purity and um, beauty, so much talent and beauty on one side. Purity, beauty, talent on one side. And um, Let's call it the box on the other side. Restriction of the energies. Depletion of the energies. Inability to accept the energies. The fear. The judgment of yourself, judgment of others. It's all there on the other side, in the box, of the box, making the box. So you're doing a wonderful progress. And the practical implication is working on your physiology to accept the energies. That is the key to let the energies flow through you, in you, to energize yourself. For that you need faith. For that you need a huge amount of faith. The bold desire to jump forward into accepting the energies. It's all about the energy. You cannot see the opportunities until you get more energy. And you can't get more energy until you change your lifestyle. So that's a cash 22. I would recommend, suggest starting from your energies and starting from your faith. That's my path. Go through the heart, go through the trust, go through the faith. Love yourself more. Love yourself greatly, immensely, deeply. And through that, everything is solved. When your energy goes up, you will see more opportunities. You cannot see them before you rise above the fence. The veils. The veils are pretty low, but you are low on energy, so you cannot see above the veils. When you lift yourself up in energy wise, in energy, energy wise, when you lift yourself up, when you heal yourself from depletion of energy, you will see above the fence and then you can make decisions. Jumping now over the fence is hard because you don't know what's on the other side. You need to see what's on the other side. For that, you need to lift yourself up. So, why cannot you allow yourself to be more energized? Why cannot you allow yourself to be more shiny? Because of the fear, because 
in practical terms, you know, if you become shinier, if you become more brave, braver, if you become more, what's that word? Risk taking, then you get punished. It's practical experience of the past. If you just become too self-confident when you put a lot of love in yourself, you become too self-confident, you get hurt. People start judging you. So that's the paradox. That's the key of the paradox, key of the challenge which I see. It's for you to solve it. My suggestion would be to shift back and forth, pump yourself, pump your self-confidence, pump yourself trusts, pump your self-evaluation. You are great. You are a queen. You are bigger than a queen. You are a goddess, right? Pump yourself up. Stay in this space. Look above the veils from this space. You will see answers. And then come back into your deflated self and integrate that knowledge, integrate that energy into your deflated self and fix itself, fix yourself, fix your health, fix your energy flow. So more down to earth, more up into the sky. But when you come to earth, you also respect the earth, respect the ground and respect the uh, energy flow, respect the earth energy flow, respect the financial flow. So oscillating in time between meditation of self-grandeur and meditation of connectedness to the practicality. So both have to be important. And then practically apply it. Apply it. It takes um, careful gardening of yourself. Care careful gardening of your physiology to accept more of the flow. To take more responsibility. To be bolder. To accept more of connections. To accept more of the bliss to accept more of the spirit in yourself, to become more of the Divine Mother, to become more of the Creator in yourself. It's all possible. It requires gardening and um, wisdom. Gardening and wisdom. I bless these qualities and this challenge and the resolution of this challenge in you. Um, yeah. We can continue the conversation any way you like. Thank you so much. I think we can continue with Sakina because her question is very much like mine. Just different okay. Version. Thank you. Uh, okay, Pranams Yogananda, I just needed to see you and feel you today. I was just <laughs> going through a truck ran over me the last couple of weeks. <laughs> So physically or no, no, <laughs> okay, just the things that happen. Um, okay, um, you know, you're gonna end that, that I have been, my passion was art, right? I was 
so passionate about art when I came over here doing. And then um, some things I had to experience. I chose that area and then I slowly with life things, I, uh, I, I moved into just because I, I myself am supporting everybody my, uh, financially. And so I've lost that touch of passion. I mean, how am I going to get it back? Uh, I don't know what to do about it. Um, is there any meditation? Yes. Any mantras or anything that I can become passionate? Because without that passion, I'm not alive. Absolutely, yes. The key answer for you is exactly the same as before. From the beginning of this conversation, it was all the answer to you. Let me briefly repeat so you can see it's all related. It's all the answer. Um, hi, 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 Mm. So work on your physiology. It is coming through acceptance of the resources, through your stomach. It's the answer number one. You need to be able to digest the life here. Become artful in handling your body to be able to exist in this foreign, somewhat foreign environment. It's art, but it is possible. It's a, it's a miracle that you exist, but even bigger miracle is possible. When I was young, I had exactly the same kind of problems as you. Probably with digestion, problems with accepting the life, accepting food. I was slim and couldn't digest things. And this was miraculously cured one day so miracles are possible strive to make it happen it is not fixable from the physical perspective it is fixable only from the perspective of faith from the place of faith so strengthen your faith okay um yes i'm i'm I, I, I'm starting to meditate longer. That probably bring me in inside myself. I uh, need to accept myself, right? Right. And uh, also, um, I, I keep helping people. I'm trying to help people, and I get into a soup. And I told you about it last time. The guy put me in a debt for almost twenty thousand dollars now, and now he's uh, escaping. And I'm stuck with that. And, I see. And I, I, I'm very careful about, I myself, I'm careful, but I was trying to help him out. And he said, well, in turn, you know, you'd be helped a little bit. Or, and uh, that really stresses me out. Uh, and, you know, Baba said that he'll, he'll help me out in that and he'll take care of it somehow. Um, so trust and just I want to relax in that matter because it I don't like to be in debt and uh, I don't know what how to uh, is it something that it, it was a, I'm sure it's a learning lesson yes so, and uh, the learning lesson that I do not consider about other people's and other people's situation and put myself in 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 jeopardy you know like this um, because that's what did seem to be my story of life um, trying to help others and getting myself in the soup if you uh, if you it might help you to know that this um, piece of drama this little challenge this little story uh -huh. was captured by you from the ether and it was played for you and many many other 
souls at the same time. So you are not alone. There is that story which repeats these days, these days, these months for many, many other people. It is a divine play of the Creator. It is a story which was designed for your upliftment and for upliftment of other people. And it's up to you what to do with it. It's a gift. Take it as a gift. Don't stress yourself out. Take it as a gift. It is a challenge which is a curriculum for you and many, many other brothers, sisters. Right now on earth, some already are done with it. Yeah, Max has been done with it in April. Some others are be, be, be behind, but take it easy. It is has nothing to do with uh, your safety, with your uh, overall path. It was a lesson you have to go over and uh, the spirits will restore the balance one way or another. The program is designed to keep you in certain state, in certain state, not too bad, not, not too bad. You can go up, but they wouldn't let you go too much down. So take whatever you can from this lesson and move on, move on. It's time now. The energies are coming. You can miss the time of energies are coming. If you stress over the past, now there are energies of prosperity pouring you. It's a few days until August. August is the time when the prosperity energies, the program is being downloaded. If you don't accept it, if we don't download it in your stomach, you miss it. That's that easy. Here is the prosperity downloaded in you by the spirit, by the creator spirits, by the elementals. They say, here is your flash drive. Go insert in your computer and download the program. But if your computer USB port is busy with, with the trauma and drama, then you can't accept it, right? So get over it as soon as possible. You know, put it on the side burner. Yeah, do whatever is needed. If you need to spend like $100 on uh, another paperwork, do that. But focus on, uh, on the positive side. Focus on the download of the program. Prosperity is coming. It's for you to manifest it. It's not that you will be given. Sometimes, yes, you are given just a check. But in most cases their curriculum of the lesson, curriculum of the class is that you have to do more to receive this check. It's a, it's a computer game, it's a computer simulation, it's a drama, it's a novel. So you have to do your part, play your part, and the God, the Divine Mother, Daughter, Father, Son will play their part. The Elementals will play their part. The Guides will play their part. But you have to be in a state of acceptance and don't stress. Stress for a minute, it's okay. Stress for 15 minutes, it's okay. <laughs> but not the whole day. Be afraid of being stressed for the whole day. It's, it's not good for you. Be angry for two minutes. Maybe five. But then kind of, yeah, I was angry, that's good. Move on. Okay, I will try that. <laughs> Program myself, stress for 15 minutes, stress time, and then move out of it. Yeah, put uh, it on your calendar. Okay. Don't so, forget to stress tomorrow. Okay, so I've, I've uh, so uh, even um, like I've got this real estate going on, I've got this uh, online thing I want to do, and then I've got my art to do. I need to choose something that will be good. So, so the divine will help me choose during this period of time, right? That's what you're saying too, right? You say some things which are unfamiliar to me. You said online and art. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Do you well, want me to consider the specific choices or yeah, do you want a yeah. general direction? Yeah, what choice should I pursue? Um, Okay, as an art, I love that and that's passionate. Then I worry about how am I going to make money because I'm supporting myself. Then I've got real estate that I need to do marketing and I really, that marketing is a problem with me. And then I've got this uh, online business that 
I feel like that might be fun to start and then I can include my art in that online business, you know, sell that too. So I'm, I, I'm really, I've got these two going on and I, 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 you know, I'm just like moving around in circles. Of course, my passion is art, but then I can't make money to survive right now. I don't know how, you know, it, that's going to work out. So I'm trying to put my art somewhere that I can do you know, both or, you know, somehow, somehow art can be involved. And then if that grows, that'll be good. Or sell something on online about spiritual uh, articles, you know. I, I'm so, uh, I just don't know where, where I can focus on. I see. Mm-hmm. To be practical, describe in one sentence or two, what is that art business? I don't have an art business. I'm just, love. you know, I have been passionate since childhood. I've been doing, an, you know, I was an artist, right? And I was very passionate about it. But I'm not making money any, any more in it because it's a hard area to pursue to make a living, especially when you're single and don't have any support from anybody, right? Right. So you are not planning to make money from art. It's just a way for you to become healthy and rebalance yourself, right? Uh, Well, I would like to make money, but it seems like, you know, it's not possible. It's kind of hard. I cannot see a picture. I agree. It sounds to me it's more like for your balancing and health rather than for money. That sounds like what I hear from you. That's the flow of energies which you project. But I might be wrong. It's uh, just what you project. What I'm, I'm just sounding, reflecting to you what I hear from you. It sounds like it's not a practical plan yet. It's more for healing and balancing yourself. I welcome that part. Okay. So then, then what about real estate and uh, starting the online uh, business? Maybe I can get involved in selling things that are fun things and I can then event eventually put my art in there and sell that too. Uh, or what is we- the rational of you doing online business? What's the difference from many billions of others who do that? Well, I don't know. I got involved with the online business with this person who put me in debt and then I started to get, well, you know, uh, there's the uh, it, it, Online business, uh, real estate goes up and down. When it's a down market, then you're stuck. You know where you. I see. To- Is it already working that business? Do you already see it for all in? I am working in real estate right now. No, the is- business which you mentioned online. Sorry for interrupting. Uh-huh. Is it already working? Is it something which is already working? Do you no. see a working model? No, that really that online business with this man, this guy got me started. Okay, this guy got me started, and he pushed me and pushed me and pushed me. And but it's electronic, and I'm not interested in it. But it gave me an interest in uh, starting something else online. So if they're practical goods that I can sell that can be helpful for people, say pyramids or think things, something that might come when I start. Um, and then, uh, you know, that might be uh, practical. You know, I see. I see. When real estate is down, I have something else to back up. Of. I see. So, and yes, when you don't have real estate work, yes, it's a good uh, uh, release for your energies. I agree. It sounds, just reflecting to what you said, it sounds okay, but not as a primary source. It's more like when you have nothing else to do, to focus on that is a good idea. Yes, it sounds okay. Oh, oh. Well, uh, it might it might grow, and then you know you have to you have to put your whole into a whole self, right? So real estate also is. You don't so have I, to you know in any given day, you can focus on one thing or another, uh, even week. But when there is a business in real estate which already feeds you, I would suggest delay your online thing because. There is so much competition. Maybe it's uh, it's uh, the energy flow is not that proven yet. It might work, might not. It's not decided yet. So I would say it's a risky endeavor 
do it as you said when the market is still and you have nothing else to do yes it also will be healing for you to work on that but only as a side thing when there is nothing else to do that's my take i'm not a good business advisor uh, yeah. But um, but I'm just reflecting to you what you said, the energies. Yeah, well, I was trying to do, you know, it, that would be involving also. And so I. So you're saying just stick with real estate? I still say as long as it makes money, as long as it works. Do your share there. It seems to be working for you. And when it stops, then you have other places where yes it sounds okay okay all right thank you i will work on it thank you Yvonne. let me give you another chance so place your hands on your stomach say i accept i accept i am the flow of money i am in the flow of money um um hi um 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 Connect with the motherly energy. Connect with the motherly energy. Find the mother in yourself. Connect to your mother's energy, motherly energy of your mother. Connect to the motherly energy of your grandmothers. Feel nurtured. Feel nurtured. So you can do your job and you can do other things, your hobbies. And you can start things on the side. It's all possible. Connect to these motherly energies which make things possible. You can even multitask. You just need some clarity and some energy. Connect to this energy. Connect to this clarity. Clarity. that makes me feel a lot better yay we have another seven minutes um i invite more comments before we finish uh hello yogananda yes so uh i'd like to continue to ask about uh pranaya uh what's the proper way for me to do that <laughs> That answer is not coming today. Are there any other questions? So, uh, what is proper way for me to manifest some money? <laughs> yeah, that's the money question. Okay. <sighs> All right. So your all what was said before reflects to you as well, or re relates to you as well. Your uniqueness is uh, that your you have unique qualities and unique capacities, especially your mental capacity and your capacity to process enormous number of facts, a number, enormous amount of knowledge. You're good yes, with knowledge uh, and facts. There's uh, one problem is uh, my mind is always occupied. So it's very hard for me to come, come, come down. I see. But you formulated the question, you know the answer. Yes, meditation, different forms of meditation would be very helpful for you. So now your weakness is currently, which you, your challenge is integrating with other humans in their working teams 
So yes, uh, it's also it's very hard for me right now to find a, a uh, ordinary job. <laughs> I see. It is there. The economy might pick up soon. So start building the relationships with the places which might hire you. Don't expect to be hired right away, but build at least your relationship with them. Pay attention who might be hiring. Research them. Connect to people there. Connect to some workers there. Uh, currently, currently, I'm, I'm um, it's not kind of job. I, I'm doing some, uh, my interest is sound like uh, broadcasting the hypnosis. I see. So it's, it's not kind of job. It's, uh, uh, I still have some money to come, but, but not much. I see. Are you thinking of that as a business? Yes, it's, it's a kind of business right now. I, I just jo uh, joined the, the team of my friend. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's uh, I, I use a, a, a software to broadcast uh, the music, spiritual music, and uh, also broadcast the uh, uh, hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'll do at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's unclear to me how, how, whether you will be successful. Where there is a gap between your idea now and the future when it becomes successful, there is that gap. It's not clear whether you will be able to, um, cross that gap usually that gap is he is helped by friends and family and sometimes by investors but it doesn't seem like you're ready for investors so it is more like friends and family who could support and partners who could support that development so still there is that need for you to um partner with other people and create working teams with other people so that's the same quality which I would recommend you develop. So what is the, uh, the, the urgent things I should do right now? Number one, yes, continue meditation, not for a long time, but put your soul into meditation. Certain times a day, certain times a day, meditate to reconnect to your intuition to reconnect to the energy yes number one it's meditations number two okay. as you try to build your own business you have to study that business art art of business you are capable of intellectually studying it so do that and also speak to people who are successful in the business you need to connect to not only to mental energy but also to to intuitive energy, to the flow of energy in the business. So you need physically to be near these people and speak to them. So I encourage you to speak to other business people of the small businesses to see how the energy flows and to connect to this energy. So these are two major ideas which I would suggest. Meditation and physical connection to other successful businessmen, business people. So what, what, what kind of people are, so what, what particular people I could talk to right now? Small businesses or managers in bigger businesses. Just find a way to connect to them. Maybe they drink beer. Maybe they go play tennis. Maybe they just are available for you on the street. Some are, maybe they have clubs. I'm not sure how it is organized in your area, but uh, people come together in uh, certain parts of Western world. They come play golf. See how you can connect to these people who are in business. Because your main idea in the mind, which you pronounce now, is to 
connect to the idea of business. So you need to socialize with business people more. You have to find the ways around. Sometimes it's just a step away, just going on the street and finding the club for business people. It doesn't have to be very successful. It could be just an owner of the bakery, whoever. Yeah, okay. That, that, uh, actually, uh, I don't have a great relationship around of my society. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You, that's what is missing. So how, how can I fix that? Research. Your strength is research. So do your research. How other people cross that barrier of social, social barrier and connect to other people. It is art which is accessible to you. Okay, thank you, Gananda. Yes, thank you. All right, I will take the last question. Yogananda, this is Marianne. Hey, Marianne. I don't know if I have a question. I just wanted to thank you for uh, those meditations. Thank you. Thank you for especially, accepting them. Yes, especially the one on prosperity, because <laughs> I see prosperity coming in. I'm riding the waves, and my I didn't realize my uh, stomach is get, you know, not comfortable. <laughs> And when we did that meditation, it just released all this energy that was locked in there and balanced it out. And I was crying. It was like very moving. And I just really want to thank you for that. Oh, thank you for accepting it. My pleasure. Big part of it is done by your spirit. We are here only to offer certain downloads and then the rest is done within you, within your kingdom domain yes any more, thank you any more questions last question your blessings all right namaste all right uh, yogananda Yes. Yeah. Can I have a question about life? Yes. Um, can a person literally dead forever? Can you explain? I mean, no reincarnation, no, no, no any sense of energy, just literally dead, so dead. Yes and no. Yes and no. Um, it's not typical. It's not typical. Sometimes, yes, there are failed souls which destroy themselves through certain circumstances when they cannot be kept as a continuous vortex so they are recycled in the, into the source it's rare but it is possible especially with the beginning souls which uh, have the flow which is not fixable there are also souls which get trapped for a long time it's also rare but it is possible but then finally they get released and recycled so released or not necessarily recycled they can be recovered sometimes can voluntary become literally dead? Oh, can someone decide to be dead? Yes, forever, no soul, no, no, no other forms of body, nothing at all. Hmm. It's rare. I think it's possible, everything is possible, but it's rare. The whole idea of Buddhism is to stop the incarnation cycle, but that soul in Buddhism is aiming at not incarnating, but staying in the spirit world and upgrading, being upgraded to the higher level. So it's escaping the incarnation cycle, not downwards to non-existence, but to higher existence. So the Buddhist idea is to 
get into the higher state of the soul existence by stopping the incarnations. I hope it helps. Okay, thank you. All right. give you a closing meditation sit in a relaxed fashion lay down in a relaxed fashion relax your muscles mute your microphone Allah. Keep slowly breathing, breathe consciously and slowly and pause once in a while to feel your stomach. Feel your heart, feel the sadness in your heart. Connect to the sadness of your heart. Accept the sadness, incorporate the sadness, respect and love it. It is a healing sadness in your heart, healing sadness in your stomach. It helps you to keep your physical body and physical mind, physical incarnation healthy. It allows you to judge in a healthy way what is good for you and what is not. It allows you to release what is not needed. So accept that sadness and honor it. Accept Shiva, the destruction, the negativity within you. There is a certain beauty in sadness. Respect and cherish that beauty. You cannot get to joy without honoring the sadness. Be in sadness as long as it is good for you. Honor it, cry it out, release it out, release the old, release the pain, release the suffering, release the anger, release the anger, the fear, release it. And then you liberate the space, you clear up the space for new joy, for new beginnings.
Feel your heart. Feel the energy coming. Feel us. Feel me in your heart. Feel my love in your heart. Feel the love of the Divine Mother in your heart. Feel the motherly energy in your heart. Feel the motherly energy in your stomach. Feel the source energy in your spine. Respect it, honor it. Be in love. Bring yourself in your stomach. Bring yourself in your heart. Populate your body and stay in a space of love. With that, I will leave in a second. You can stay in that state of meditation. Goodbye.